co-founder with me of the Department of Government Efficiency, Doge, Madison Square Garden. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the greatest capitalist in the history of the United States of America, Elon Musk. I'm not just MAGA, I'm dark, gothic MAGA. Well, it's, the energy in this room is incredible. What a, what a, what a great group of people. It's, All right, it's, I've only got one question for okay. you, and then I'm getting out of here, because this right. is your stage. But we set up Doge. Yes. How much do we, you think we can rip out of this wasted $6.5 trillion Harris-Biden budget? Well, I, I think we, we can do at least $2 trillion. Yeah! <laughs> yes. $2 trillion. I mean, at the end of the day, you're being taxed. You're being taxed. All government spending is taxation. So whether it's, it's direct taxation or all government spending, it either becomes inflation or it's, it's direct taxation. Your money is being wasted and the Department of Government Efficiency is going to fix that. We're going to get the government off your back and out of your pocketbook. And Amer America is just not, not gonna, just going to be great. America is going to reach heights that it has never seen before. The future is going to be amazing. Now, <laughs> you guys are awesome. Honestly, this is like. <laughs> yeah. I mean, th this is. This is, like, this is the kind of positive energy that America is all about. Yeah. USA, 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 USA. Yes. Now, I have, uh, I have a, something I want to ask you to do, though, because obviously uh, we're, we're somewhat preaching to the converted in this uh, stadium, um, but there's a lot of people out there who, uh, who need to vote for, for President Trump, okay? So, the, like, this is a real battle. This is a real election battle. So you need to get friends and family to, to vote, make sure they vote, vote early. This is important. We're, we're going to be putting up a scorecard, okay? An early vote scorecard, state by state, county by county. What is the scorecard? Vote early. Vote now. Yeah. Make, it, make, make the, the, the margin of victory so big that you know what can happen. Massive, overwhelming sweep of every swing state and even some of the states that aren't, people don't think are swing states. Massive, crushing victory. 
get everyone, friends, family, people on the street, put the signs up, put the hat on. Let's go. And with that, it is my uh, honor to introduce the First Lady, Melania Trump. Good evening, New York City! Hello, Madison Square Garden! Our hometown, where architectural symbols of strength, courage, and unity create a canvas for the world's undisputed capital of industry. where titans of finance, fashion, and entertainment convene among an iconic range of superior design, structures, and artistic accomplishments. And American ingenuity blossoms among determined citizens who race across city streets and between offices striving for success. It is you who are the heartbeat of this great metropolis. It is you who are the pulse of this America. Yet, New York City is unforgiving. In fact, our lives are complicated even during the best of times. And sadly, today, a declining quality of life coupled with economic instability makes it difficult for business to thrive. Love you too. Crime is on the rise, while public safety diminishes creating an environment where families with young children choose to relocate. And this story repeats itself from coast to coast across our nation. This is America. For generations, this town has produced America's most fearless leaders whose mark changed the course of the world. New York City and America needs their magic back. A country of tomorrow that will shape our future and reset expectations for the generations. Envision a wonderful America where the seeds of security, prosperity, and health are sown once again for benefit of our families. Let us charge together with a shared vision that builds on American greatness. Let's seize this moment and create a country for tomorrow, the future that we deserve. And now, please welcome our next Commander-in-Chief, my husband, President Donald J. Trump. 